everyone, welcome back to Pyro Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza, where we are playing SimCity. We are in our sixth city location. You can see uh, Swagon City over here in the corner, or in the distance. We have this nice, fresh piece of land here. Um, I can't wait for this. Haven't really made a heavy tourism city before, but so, you know, let's get to it. Alright, the first thing we're going to do... Um, is we are not going to have any power plants in the city if I can help it. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I may have to do it, but I want to stick with clean power. So I figure I'm going to make um, a strip, sort of like in Las Vegas. And we're going to put the strip right near... The entrance to the city. We're also going to immediately lay down... Well, I guess I shouldn't do that. Yeah, the first thing I should do... Is actually... Okay, here we go. Alright, so we need to buy... Ah, I don't have any power. Well then. Um, we do have a million dollars coming our way eventually. Let's see. So I will likely have to... Yeah. Ugh. I will likely have to... Um, in fact, I'm going to take out a 100,000... Okay. Come on, there's a Department of Finance in the region. Don't give me that crap. Ah, fuck it. I'll just take out 50,000 for now. Jeez. Alright, so first thing we do... Plop down that. And how much does this cost? 40k? Yeah, I don't feel like taking all my money away right now. Alright, so... Um, and because an all-avenue strategy worked so well before, I think I'm going to go with that again. Um, anyway, this strip will be the main strip for, um, um, for commercial zones and the other tourism buildings, like casinos. So that should be fun, hopefully. Um, yeah, okay, which way is the wind blowing? Uh, wind map, wind map. Ah, there's more stuff here thanks to the expansion, okay. Wind map is going north. That is not surprising. Alright, so for now... I'm gonna go ahead and build some industrial zones over here, but this is not exactly what I want to do. For but it's necessary for now, I believe. There we go. Alright, so anyway, as I was saying, um, there is a million dollars coming our way eventually. I don't know when it's coming, but it will come. Better come. Alright, and... Uh-huh. You know what? Just stick it right there for now. Okay, no education for a bit. We need to get our city established first. Um, let's see. Let's check the tourism. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I kept saying tourism. I meant gambling this whole time. But anyway. Um, okay, so I need commercial buildings. That's what I'm lacking. Okay, that's fine. They will come. I hope I don't need too many industrial zones to pull this off. And I'm about tempted to take out another one. But, oh, duh. Let's just put some frickin' commercial zones along the strip. I mean, that's what the strip is for. There we go. Okay. And let's look at numbers already. Oh, good. Already. Gambling house. Excellent. And that is going to cost me... 15 grand. 
Hopefully that million dollars gets here soon. I may honestly uh, uh, just stop after this episode if I don't get the money. Um, I'll stop for the night. Uh, hopefully the million dollars will transfer overnight in real time. Fingers crossed. Since uh, obviously sometimes the SimCity servers do not really want to function the way we want them to function. Wow, commercial buildings are just exploding too. Excellent. So after I transferred the million dollars for in the last episode, I played the uh, played Swag and City for about twenty to thirty minutes. I was hoping that'd be enough time. Um, I still really wish they'd get the city sync uh, city sync up better. What? Yes, I will do that. Trust me. Just not at this exact second. I don't think I can afford it. All right. So. Wow, commercial buildings are popping up pretty fast. Kind of didn't expect that. How are we doing with jobs? Doing very good. Hmm. This might not be so bad. So yeah, this will be a gambling culture city. I'm going to try to do both here. Um, yes, I know we have a worker shortage. Now, I'll fill in these uh, side streets eventually, but as I did with um, Swag and City, I want to take a. I want to have a little bit more control over the placement of my buildings and zones. For now, um, we will. Yes. Excellent. But yeah, I want to maximize. The reason I intentionally picked. This land, this uh, city zone is because it's nothing but nice flat land, uh, no water, no bullshit, plenty of room for expansion for the airport, and for bigger and bigger buildings eventually. Uh, let's see, how big are we talking here? That's not too bad. That's actually a very reasonable size. I thought they were bigger than that. I can live with that. So hopefully we'll get our, you know what, I'm going to take out another bond. Um, yes, even if I get that, I'll still be making a profit. Okay. So let's start working on the gambling houses. Um, actually, first things first, let's go ahead and build a passenger train station. So and then, uh, whoops, gambling house. Put one right next to the train station so everyone can see it as they exit. What? Oh, that's not good. Welp. A little bit more distance there. Now we should be all right. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. All right, so we have our gambling house. Uh, let's see what else can I do with it. Casino marquee. Obviously, we stick the casino marquee right here, so it's the first thing everyone sees. And we'll go with some cheap rooms to get us started. There we go. We got some cheap rooms to get us started. Actually, I want to move that to the back. How much did that cost me? Thirty-five hundred. Yeah, I'm not going to move it yet. And I'll do this just to clear the message. Thank you. Okay. Town Hall. And now it should ask me for a city name. All right. So, yep. There we go. City name. All right. City number six. Trollbania. Should not have to say who that's named after. Probably easily my number one fan. Whoa. Now that's pretty sweet. You know, like I said in the previous episode, I've got um, Cities of Tomorrow now, uh, but I haven't done anything. I'm playing it blind. Very cool. So we'll see how that goes. Um, probably City number seven, I'll start worrying more about this, uh, all the Cities of Tomorrow oh, stuff. 
But I don't want to shake my plan. So, anyway. Alright, so how are we doing on people? We are doing shitty. Excellent. And I, I actually did not mean that facetiously. I'm actually glad that we're having some people problems. Because that tells me that, uh... Okay, wait a minute. So... Why do I why did I build this many? What what was my thinking? I just did it and I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I was probably thinking I just wanted to try to get uh I wanted to make sure I had enough for the uh to get the gambling house or something. Okay. There we go. That should greatly help. Now there will be a lot uh less of a demand on workers, right? Or not, apparently. Ugh. Come on, guys. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do industrial zones, but we did that experiment with Lee Dozer in Quadrant 1, and you need industrial zones to get anything accomplished in this game. Which kind of upsets me, since that's not the way real cities work, but whatever. Okay. Come on, gambling house, let's go. Triple speed. That's the problem. Still need people, right? We still need zone or still need residential zones. Oh, we need that million dollars too. Uh, what? Ah, oh, crap, man. It's not quite working out how I had hoped it would. Just do that. Enough simoleons. I need... How much do I need? 3,500. Oh, good. Whoa. That was a big jump. How, how did I suddenly start earning 1,800 an hour? Oh, because the gambling house opened, I think. Okay, good. Is that what it's came, coming from? Yup, it's coming from the casino. Okay, excellent. Alright, so we are... We're on our way. I know you guys are unhappy. Don't worry, we'll get this. We will get this. So the way the gambling house works, not only does everything give you more money um, per hour, not only do all the gambling houses give you money per hour, but every day they give you a bunch of money too, is I believe the way they work. So, and gambling houses are always pure profit and they are infinite money, which is great. Um, basically, it's it's, if you're playing a city and you actually play it enough that you farm off, farm out all the resources in the city, you can always change its specialization to do a gambling city. It's a little bit more expensive and it causes a bunch of crime, but it winds up being worth it. Trust me. All right, so I guess what we need now... You know what? I'm going to... Can I... No, I can't do it yet, can I? Is this the mission to do it? Yes! Awesome. Okay, we're going to put Maxis Man in charge of this city. Eventually. Um, because that way he can uh, he can start picking up some, uh, some of the criminals, help the police station, because we are going to have a lot of crime in this city, unless I'm extremely careful. Alright, so now we need more people, right? Yes, we have, 100, uh, we have 436 jobs to fill. Although most of the people here are going to be poor at first. But we will roll with that. And I'm spending too much money. That's alright. There we go. Still at triple speed, and I knew I would need the clinic sooner than later, but that will wait. In fact, that'll help. If we keep some injured sims, that'll help out once we plop the Maxis Manor. Um, so yeah, so this is how I build uh, tourism cities, basically. I just make a strip, make the casinos. I said tourism city again, didn't I? This is how I make gambling cities. I plop a strip, plop the casinos, and then everyone is happy, especially my pocketbook. The only problem with gambling houses is, is that the money is um, 
it's not, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, oh, that's how it works. Okay, so that's the per hour, and then that's the per day calculator. Okay, never mind. Anyway, um, the problem with gambling houses is that the money that comes in does fluctuate. So sometimes you will have better profits than other times. And if your city's tourism rating, which is sort of an invisible number, goes down, then it's that much harder to uh, get what you need to get. It's that much harder to collect cash. So, whatever. We will... Yes, I know. We, we will deal with it, though. And the poor are done... And we have some unfilled jobs. That's great. Okay, so let's convert a small chunk of this to medium wealth. So we'll just go into here. Go into... Whoa. What's this? The Excitatorium. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. What is this? AR Athletic Center? AR. Location aware... So oh, augmented reality. Well, that's cool. Let's slap down an augmented reality thing. Or can I? No, I need something, don't I? Oh, no, I, I, there we go. Okay. So let's uh, do... Let's put it... Uh, here. And... Oh, and then I can... I see. So, medium skate park. And... Another medium skate park. And a soccer pitch? Yes, that works. Looks a little silly, but it works. Also, you can see down there in the treasury, we got our million dollar gift. So I'm gonna pay off both of the bonds. Now we've got plenty of cash. Yes, I know we need the fire department. Uh, let's put that. We want to keep it away from the strap. Obviously. Now I get to spend money like water. Alright, and then... Uh... And once that turns on, yeah, once that turns on, then we can destroy the original one. Save some physical footprints there. You, Klein. You, you uh, Dr. Boo. Yeah, Dr. Boo, Klein. You won. police station. Yes, we will get you a police station. And you need what? Arcology. Decline. Dumbass. Alright, so, but before we do... Before we do a standard police station, we will plop a... Uh, yeah, let's just actually put it... Do I need a third? No, I won't need a third fire truck, so stick it there, send you out on patrol, and hopefully we can get the No Regrets quest line to start up here in a moment. There it goes. Alright. Alright, well, everything's getting set up okay. Um, yeah, let's get a police station. Right now, we'll just use a small police station. I don't think I'll need a big one, but we'll see. Alright. Okay, so we are obviously on our way now. Um, everything is going pretty well, so let's start increasing our worth here. Let's see. 52000 a day from gambling, and we got really close at 39382 so far. So we're going to lay down another casino here, and we'll have this one cater to medium wealth people. So, ah, oh, I was hoping I could reach that far. Oh well, that's okay. 
So I really wanted the signs to be together. Come on, load. Clear it. Let's go. Thank you. Jeez. There. And there we go. So our, our uh, gambling city is... Oh, nice. Jeez, that was fast. Okay. All right. So, um, so yeah, we're doing pretty well here. Our gambling city is uh, established. Still turning a profit, even after all that rapid uh, building, even though I had to already dip into a third of the gift. Um, I think we'll go one more episode for the night and then end the session. So tune in tomorrow, though, for another episode as we continue expanding Trollbania to make it the gambling capital of this region. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you tomorrow.